Hi, we are Dan and Yanni, and we both got the chance to be one of the first designers to play around with this brand new technique. It's called the high resolution 3D print technology, and it was developed to create 2.5D prints. In this tutorial, we will explain you the basics of the technology, and more important, help you get started on the Adobe Illustrator plugin to make your own designs. Here are some examples of a work. This technology allows you to print layers of ink on top of each other and in this way you create elevations and thus an extra dimension to your graphic designs. And unlike other 3D printing processes, this technique allows you to design in a 2D program like Illustrator or Photoshop. And because the printing process uses UV curable ink, you can put the whole spectrum of CMYK colors to your artwork. So now let's open up Illustrator. Now you've opened up Illustrator and uh, you have your workspace like you normally would. Uh, to open the Elevation Assistant you go to Window, then go to OC and then to Elevation Assistant. And you see a nice toolbox and uh, this toolbox helps you uh, elevate your designs. Um, we've made a file to show you the basics of this, um, this toolbox. As you can see, uh, this file consists of uh, some uh, primitive shapes. Uh, they are all vectors and you can uh, just click on them. For the first shape, this circle, uh, we're going to assign um, an elevation of three millimeters. And you do, you do that by assigning it in the toolbox. Um, and you can also assign, of course, the type of shape the type of elevation and we'll choose a simple one for now this is flat and now you click apply and then hit this uh, box tick the box 3d view and behind your illustrator um, interface there now is a 3d viewer you can actually enlarge it zoom in on it and then when you hold your mouse button, you can uh, look at different angles at your design. You can see that our uh, circle has now an elevation of three millimeters. You probably noticed that the resolution of, uh, of the viewer is not very high. This is to, uh, to keep a nice workflow. Now let's close it or untick this box here to close your viewer. The basic elevation is just the beginning. You can, for example, soften the edges or invert the elevation. We will show you these features now. Um, we can also soften our uh, edges of the circle. So um, you do that by, again, choosing your elevation, which is flat. And then there is a box to tick that says soften. And we'll soften it by two millimeters. You hit apply again and tick the box to see it in the 3D viewer. Now you can see that this edge is nice and soft now. In the elevation shape menu, you will find all kinds of elevation methods. We've just used the flat one, but feel free to play around with the other elevation methods like cone, ramp and dome. When you're making a, a design, uh, all your elevation information is stored in one layer. And you can see this layer in your layer window. It's better not to play around with the elevation layer when not familiar with the program. So don't lock it or change it. Now, we've just shown you how to elevate shapes. But this technology is HR, which means high resolution. This means we can have very fine textures in our elevation. We could, for example, use swatches uh, or even custom swatches to, um, to make surface elevations. Uh, first, let's keep it simple. I'll open up a file, a new one, and you can see some basic shapes again. Um, and I'm going to use the pyramid to show you the first example. First, I'm going to have an elevation shape on this by choosing a ramp of three millimeters. I'm gonna hit apply. 
And now I'm gonna, I want this, this surface to have its own texture. And I'm gonna look at my swatches library here, which you can find of course in your window here in swatches. And I'm gonna add, for example, these polka dots. And I want these polka dots to be used as a surface texture. I'm gonna do that right here. Um, I'm gonna choose a type and that it's either art luminance or area luminance. I'm gonna choose art luminance. I'm gonna set it to one millimeter and invert and then hit apply. And check back on the elevation. So you see our elevation ramp is set and our surface texture is set. And I'm gonna hit the 3D view And now you see that the shape of the pyramid has a ramp elevation and on this pyramid there's a surface texture of these polka dots. So you can actually build separate elevations on top of each other. I'm going to show you that again with the circle here. Um, we'll choose another pattern, maybe something a bit tacky. I uh, think here, for example, the, the leopard skin. And I'm gonna first assign the elevation, uh, a flat one of three millimeters. And I'm gonna set the surface texture also to, for example, one, uh, apply. Check back on that, yeah. And then hit the 3D button again. And here you can see that the whole circle has been elevated three millimeters and the surface texture has been uh, done in one millimeter. So you can actually do a lot of fun stuff with pixeled images also in surface texture and use the swatches um, to make nice patterns. When you look at the 3D viewer now, you can see that the whole shape is elevated 5 millimeters with a surface texture applied on it based on your swatch. Of course you can invert or scale this texture. I've opened this image of a microscopic view of a leaf and I'm going to apply the art luminance to this image. I selected the image and now I'm going to select Art Luminance in the Elevation Shape menu and I'm going to assign a height of 1.5 millimeters. I'm going to hit Apply and then watch it in the 3D viewer. And now I can explain how this thing works. The Art Luminance uses the darker and lighter parts of an image to create an elevation. The lighter pixels will end up highest and the darker pixels will end up very low, as you can see here in this image. And um, yeah, this gives you a lot of opportunities to work with photos and to make uh, interesting elevations. You can also invert this process to turn around the darker and lighter parts. And you do that by clicking in the elevation shape menu on invert. I'm gonna hit apply again and then you will see after it's rendered, take some time. Now you see that the lighter parts are low and the darker parts are high. And you can play around with this technique with uh, yeah, every pixel image you, uh, you want. The area luminance is a little different from art luminance because it only uses the visible area as an elevation. After finalizing your design, you can export to a special HR3D PDF. Submit this PDF to have your design produced. We hope we've given you lots of inspiration to create your own 2.5D print-ready files. 
And well, we had lots of fun exploring the tool and we hope you do too.